I hope you can see registration paper is under the Myla. A little bit of reflection here, but uh, I have the original uh, key image. On the piece of paper, that is exactly the same size as my printing paper. And I'm going to print image on the Myla and move the paper and set the registration. And here, I'm going to flood kind of extra because paper stencil tend to dry, but I can't wash it. So I have to make sure that it's back flooded really well. Now I left the squeeze behind me and looking through the Myla, moving my paper. And I want to be careful, but I want to be um, fast too, because I could dry up the um, screen if I'm too slow. Then, so first I'm going to just make sure that's good, that's good, that's good. And I'm, I'm just going to put tapes to two corners. Okay, and then I have three tabs. I can pick three point one two three share in one corner and have one tub against the paper okay another one against the paper also and I could clean the image too but uh, I'm gonna worry about it later because I don't want to uh, have the image clog in the screen. Okay, so I put one, two, three tabs. Putting this away, I'm just going to stick in the wall before I remove it really. Remove the tape and mark the point, the spots that I taped the tabs against. Okay, so that's that. If I feel like I need to, to do the glue, always kind of a good idea though to apply a little bit of glue. I know it's a pain in the butt because you have to clean up later with goo off or goo gone or some kind of a solvent, and that's a that's a kind of annoying thing. But um, it will help. Take the paper down, and once you start, it's it's hard to stop and do it. So I'm just doing a little bit, you know, shaking the um, spray out of his sieve and just light and take this paper. This is very important. Don't forget because this is sticky, but this is the only way you blot it. Only way to make sure it's not too sticky. And a few times, just set the paper against the tab you taped, printing on the mat side of the poster board. I mean, this is poster board because I'm, I'm doing demo, so I'm just gonna do a poster board. But uh, if you wanna spend, you know, a little more on the no acid paper or like highball, that's good too. My first image is here, right here. So I'm gonna go behind that image. I wouldn't have to, I don't have to go this far, okay? All right, so uh, I'm flooding it back. Maybe I'll double flood again because it's, it's a hot day too. And I'm looking at the image. Okay, right here, it's salty. Yeah, isn't coming out completely. It's kind of blobby. But uh, next one, I'm gonna push a little harder. That's why you need more than five paper, like ideally 10 paper to get the five good ones. 
and paper stencil um, can clog even campus stencil silk screen is a is a difficult thing. I mean, you do it first, and then you move on to emulsion, and you're like, oh my god, that's so easy. But good to know how to do paper stencil. Works better. And double float again. Okay. It's a little more crisp on the edge. So now I just keep going, you know, like I don't I don't wanna uh, slow down so This is the last one of this color, so I'm not gonna flood the back after I print it. Okay, so I'm just gonna print one if it's okay. I guess I'm gonna pull a little, maybe one more time. Printing several times makes the color darker, so you wanna watch out for that. It's not always better. So I'm not flooding back, I'm just leaving that because I'm gonna just clean up now so take the ink of the squeezy back into the container take the ink of the screen back into the container and peel the stencil and wash it and hopefully it's not dry but if it's dry you can use the uh, um, simple green or soap detergent and clean it just taking the ink off the screen you want to save the ink because this is the ink that I used for fast demo and I added some yellow you know keep using the ink that you can use because you have to have ink to remove the squeeze and you have to have ink to stick the stencil but you're not really printing that much ink on the paper so I think this is good it's pretty clean I'm gonna have to clean this with the glue gun. I would peel this very inky, oozy uh, stencil and just carefully fold it in half, in half, in half, so that the inky paper is just the easier to handle in the trash. So it's like that, and I'm gonna put it in the trash. One little thing, but good to know. So I was printing like that, having the tub here and here and here, right? So I want to set this up in the same way. So instead of doing it like that, I mean, you can flip the screen too, but uh, instead of doing it like that and having to register over at the other corner, I'll just tape it so that I can print in the same way. There's a space right here, but since the paper is pretty big, I'm not really worried about ink leak from here. But uh, actually, it's better to have the paper as big as a uh, screen. And when you get the 18 inch wide freezer paper, good fit with your screen. But uh, you know, if you are worried about this leak, you might just tape it. But don't, don't tape, don't tape the whole thing. Because what happens is paper stretches a little bit, even if it's plastic. It has a plastic um, coating and sticks to the screen, but it does stretch. So you don't want stretch to be uh, stopped. You want that paper to be stretching if you want to stretch. But taping at the corner, it actually let the air go out and you know, kind of accommodate the stretch too, but uh, packing the whole thing is not really helpful and more time consuming. So 
four corners good. So I print it on uh, Myra that's stretched over the key image and I'm trying to uh, line up. Maybe I should do it again. I didn't press strong enough and it's kind of halo-y. Did you hear the strange noise? There's a reason for it. Right here, the squeezy isn't getting ink all the way. So it was a little bit uh, kind of dragging. So you should have ink, you know, up to the edge of the squeezy. So now I can move this paper a little bit. Okay, so I take the corners, then I'm just using the one that I use for yellow. First color, you don't have to uh, retain this when you're putting the tab, you can just peel it too. But the second color is a different story. You want to actually keep it. So you carefully peel, if you have to peel to put the tab, and you put the tab. Of one to three and I won't peel this yet okay so I just remove my registration paper and put the print so I'm putting one print right you wanna set as if you had to set on this Tab. I'm looking at like a right here. Look okay. So I'll say it's okay. But if that's weird or something, uh, you shouldn't change it right away. You should get another one and test it. But maybe the other one's okay. Because it's human hand that's placing the paper. Maybe sometime the paper going under the tub or you know overlapping or whatever. Um, but anyway, so this looks good. I would say that's okay. So these are good, good tub. The mitre can be cleaned. Okay. But I'm going to just do this. And spray adhesive. I don't think I'm going to put it. Because it's just orange dots. Not that big enough you know, for ink to stick to the paper and pick up the paper off the table. So let me actually put a little more ink because it seems, um, it seems pretty dry too. Ink all the way. And I'm going to double fold again, like it, you know, going to push the ink and pull a little bit. All right, so now I have orange and I'm going to just print the orange and I'm going to print brown too. 